Hey guys, welcome back to LQQ Bang and today I'm gonna compare uh, two of the best and uh, newest released budget cubes from the market. So this is the R3M 2020 and this is the GMS 3x3. So firstly, they are similar in price. So this one being 36 Hong Kong dollars and this one being 42. So this one is slightly ex more expensive but not by much. So for size, the R3 2020 is a bit smaller at I think 55 millimeters and the GMS is 56 so yeah you notice a bit of a size difference right here now let's talk about the general turning feel and the color cutting ability of the cubes so uh, let's talk about r 3 20 first so this one's actually pretty fast though not over fast because I added a, a lot of silicone loop to it so now it's pretty smooth and pretty quiet and I put Pretty much like this feel a lot although there's uh, a bit of the spring noise so gms is much more stabler it's also much faster than the r320 and you can kind of feel the stable turning which is very nice so if you ask me which one i like most i would say the r320 i like the turning feel more Yes, I really like this smooth gliding feeling. So, yeah. Now let's talk about the bad things of these two cubes. So, r 20 the bad thing is it's just a bit unstable, I'd say. And it's easy for a cube to deform. And for GMS, the bad thing is uh, it's very, very easy to lock up. I don't know how or why, but always lock up during solves and yeah that's pretty much a problem now we can talk about corner cutting so our frame turn is perfect it can basically corner cut everywhere but uh i turned the settings to number three so yeah from the default settings so you, you might want to turn your settings to a bit looser then it can pretty much corner cut everywhere because the factory settings are very very tight yeah for GMS, I also lose it a bit, and the core cutting is 45, I'd say, but more than 45, it just gets stuck like that. So I guess that's acceptable, 45 degrees. Now we'll talk about the magnet strength. So firstly, R3 2020 magnet strength is a bit on the medium weak side, while the GMS is a bit on the strong side. So yeah, but I don't prefer a strong magnet, so right. So now let's talk about the the accessories of the cubes. With GMS it just comes with this uh, nice plastic box, so that's not bad but there's nothing in it. So our film definitely wins this round because it comes with a nice cube stand and screwdriver and also some spare magnets and spare springs. Also, it has a really cool customization option. Really cool customization options. So I'm gonna show you that. Uh, additionally, it comes with this box, which is somehow on fire. So yeah, now we can talk about the customization options. So GMS doesn't have any. You just use your spring, and also center caps are so hard to take off. So you might want to consider that. So you can only uh, turn springs. With this one, you can actually turn this little adjustment system. So, all you need to do is put your tool here and just click, 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 click. Each click makes the cube tighter. So, I think you have eight settings one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's the end. So, yeah, eight settings. And uh, I use setting three, which is a bit on the loose side, and that's what I like. So, yeah. Now let's do a mini conclusion. If you ask which cube I recommend, then I'll probably say the R3 2020 because just a lot more things about it. But she MS is also very good and you can also consider getting it. So yeah, that's the end of my comparison about these two cubes. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, then you remember to just subscribe because we're really close to 500 subscribers. And yeah, let's get to 500 soon. So. Goodbye.